Right Keith, just going to test the twin tandem compound. What I've done, I've connected air up to the left hand bank of the cylinders as you can see. I'm just going to run those first and then I'll run the other one after just to prove that they run independently. If you bear with me a minute. Yeah, the left hand bank. just wanted to prove that they can run under the own steam literally. Slow it down a little bit. Right, I'll stop it disconnecting to the other side now. Right, here we go. I've stopped this side and I've connected the air up to the right hand side now so you can see that, that runs independently. I'll just speed it up a little bit and then slow it down. That closes with that. Slow it down again. Right, I'll make a pipe up and then run it on all four cylinders then. That'll be the next stage. Right, back again. I've made up a pipe now. You can see the inlet pipe which goes along up to a T-piece and feeds the inlets on the two high pressure cylinders. After the air steam has been exhausted it then transfers down to these pipes on either side and then back up to the inlets on the low pressure cylinders thus using the steam compressed air twice. Right, I'll run some air in the compressor and then I'll show you the thing running. Right, you can see the thing running now then. I've got it on low pressure at the moment, just so you can see it. See the compound effect of the cylinder transfer into that one on both sides. Right, I'll speed it up a little bit. in the tank of the compressor so it'll slow down. Right, running it again, just a view from the other side. I'll speed it up and let it just run out of air on its own. Quite a nice exhaust note with the four cylinders running like that, the four dual acting cylinders. That's slowing down now, the tank's running down, I'll just let it to run its course. 